Hello and welcome to the Seed Story Cup number four, day two, and we're starting our groups, and we will start with Kaldi versus Asmodai, right? Yes. Sexo? Okay. So Asmodai is playing Mage, Paladin, Druid. Kaldi is playing Paladin, Mage, Rogue. So right now it seems like Asmodai has a huge edge if his Mage is a Freeze Mage, because the best matchup for Kaldi against it would be a 50-50 in the mirror. So looking good for Asmodai pick-wise. Yeah, we'll see which classes will be picked first. And yeah, nice to see everyone on stream, guys. And we will start in a second. So, Xaik, so how did you lost yesterday? Tell people. Uh, well, I played a game of Hearthstone, my opponent drew good cards, and I didn't draw good cards. Never Lucky Baby Rage, right? Okay. okay. So yeah, we're starting in a sec. Also, there's... um. I host Kaka versus Lothar on the first stream, if you're interested. And here's, yeah, group number, I don't know which group it is, but F, yeah, the group F. Nice. So yeah, we're, we're starting with the game. And actually, yeah, it's quite interesting. Kaldi starts with the rogue. Okay, we can't see as what I sent yet, but Kaldi is playing Rogue with Assassin's Blade and Tinker's Oil. Assassin's Blade is quite good against Freeze Mage, but I think that if it's Freeze Mage, you'd still be in a quite bad position. He kept Assassin's Blade just because it gives you a lot of reach against Freeze Mage, but the fact that he didn't get any minions means that he probably won't be able to put up a lot of pressure before he plays Assassin's Blade. And now we see that Asmodai does play Freeze Mage. Yeah, and I like Kaldi's hands hand a lot, you know. Uh, but not versus the Freeze Mage, I think. Yes, like Assassin's Blade is good, but the yeah. rest. Yeah, the is rest. Not really good. But we also see that like Asmodai's hand is probably the worst it could be. Yeah. No secret, no mid scientist, no loot holder, no card draw at all. Yeah, and plus R Rogue has the coin, so. The coin isn't really, like, I think that both of these players would have preferred to start without the coin and just have the extra mana. True. But... But nevertheless, you can play like a Drake on turn 4 or something like that, since, like, Backstep is a dead card. Yeah, considering his head is double 5-drop, it's good to have a coin, so you can coin 5-drop into the second 5-drop. Yeah. But... Or like, yeah, uh, I mean, that's what I really not happy about his hand here. This only player he could go for would be Doomsayer to maybe deny an SI agent, but I'm pretty sure we'll just see another hero power. I wonder if he gets like a uh, prep and he goes uh, prep, coi uh, coin prep and then uh, draw cards. Nah, that would be interesting. Just prep first, then you coin. Yeah. Would be fun. So, roping already. So he's playing a Doomsayer. I don't know about that, but... Yeah, Kaldi won't deal with it, he'll just attack for one damage with the face and equip a new dagger. He doesn't really have any options here. Yeah, if, if it weren't for um, Doomsayer, would he, uh, he consider playing like Coin and then Violet Teacher? Um, he would consider it, but I think he wouldn't go for it because he would just die to Fireball and then you have no follow-up. Yeah. So, we might see a backstab eviscerate and attack into Doomslayer, so it doesn't go off. Uh... <laughs> would be fun. <laughs> Such a waste. Yeah, he just daggers up again after hitting the face. Okay, so... Asmodai is still desperate to draw a play. Got a secret vote. That that hand is not that great, actually. No mid scientist still. Yeah, I mean, at least he had something to play with the ice block. Otherwise, he would just pass to the turn again. But yeah. can't be good about how this game is going so far. Yeah, now it's just Violet Teacher and like follow up. You have the Drake. You have Lothep. Lothep is like very important in this matchup. Versus and the Freeze Mage, so yeah. Yeah, and because Asmodai didn't get to uh, play any card draw so far, now he has a really weird hand because now he finally picked up his card draw, but 
On the other hand, he wants to fireball the violet teacher, so this was a one turn. He would really prefer to use a fireball instead, but considering he had no card for so far, he just has to play it and pick up more options. Yeah, in the meanwhile, uh, Ostkaka versus Lothar, they just ended up uh, game two, and it's 2 0 for Ostkaka, the current world champion, so congratulations to him. And, yeah, what should Osmodai do? Yeah, considering playing a Silent Master Cycle, he probably will go for it just because he needs more cards, he needs more options. His hand right now is not a winning hand. Yeah, that hand is really awful for Osmodai at the moment. So, I think we will see Azur Drake and just attack. Yeah. You want to pop up the secrets as soon as possible. So you can finish up. And you want a good hand to play low self, a uh, good board to play low self, probably next turn. Whoa, and and he got prep. Perfect. I don't think you will play this turn. I think yeah, yeah, no, not this turn. Next turn, Elsa, just save your board with, um, yeah, with he low self. He just wants to develop with backstab so he could get one apprentice. Yeah, backstab is basically a mind control here. Kids 1 1, sums a 1 1. No, he just goes face with Talnos. Whoa, Fireblast? Yeah, I think we just see... Um, <laughs> Fireblast, he's on his face? Actually, <laughs> it's between Fireball and Blizzard. Both players are not good against this board, and both players do quite poorly against Lothar, but... We'll probably end up seeing a Fireball come down. Yeah, probably because, well, Drake will get you so much more damage. Probably Fireball the Teacher, since you can Frostbolt the Drake next turn. Yeah. Maybe even Fireball and Frostbolt, so you can just ping it off next turn. But that way, you're quite weak to the potential Earthen Ring faster here. True that, but we can see that, well, Kali's hand is like a lot of, a lot of spells and just Lonely Lothip for minions, so for Rogue it's very important to get the minions on the board, so he can oil up and stuff. Yeah, it's just <coughs> having a good board is always good because it deals some event of damage, but when you play low step, it gets insane. And, yeah, and I couldn't explain what's going on if you don't see low step this turn. It's just so efficient, probably makes you proc the ice block next turn. I don't see anything but low step and Maybe a couple of spells, like you can play hero power, like quite hero power, probably this or something, yeah. to get a couple of tokens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about it too, like Lothab, then uh, coin, uh, hero power, prep, and uh, yeah. Viscerate, probably? Actually, you could also play Assassin's Play, Deathly Poison, and Lothab next turn, but that way. Uh, actually, it's not bad either, because if you have one of Flame Strikes, the board is gone, but you still have. Five damage every turn from your assassin's blade. True. So many good options for Kaldi here, but he does go for the low step, yeah. as we expected. So yeah, he goes for that coin and eviscerate. He goes double eviscerate with a prep, but I think he saves one prep for his sprint. So yeah. It goes it's quite important to play low step this turn, because if you play low step next turn, even though it makes all spells cost five more mana, he could still play an 8 mana um, Frost Nova, so by playing it into the turn 7, you just keep him from any way to freeze your board. Yeah, true, and now on the next turn he can just pop up the yeah, secret. Yeah, we probably have to see a heal bot come down here. If he heal bots, he goes up to 27 HP and he can ping one of the apprentices. So it's 30 damage showing on board, so he would need 12 from hand. Maximum damage he has right now is Deadly Poison, Plate Flurry, Eviscerate. It's actually that is 12 damage because of the spell damage. Yeah. So if you see here about ping, you could exactly proc the ice block. W would you like uh, play around the Drake and his plus one spell power so uh, he uh, Kaldi wouldn't like have the ability to pop up uh, the ice block? I mean, then he couldn't play. Yeah, true. Heal, but yeah. So it's, uh, it's like very difficult. It's all about so decision making. Kyle is able to proc 
the ice block and leave him at 1 HP while also clearing the field board. He needs the secrets and right think about whether he wants to play the SI agent because after he plays the spells, his board was will be full because of the Violet Teacher. So if he wants to play SI Agent, he has to play it before the rest of his spells. Yeah, and let's see if um, Galdi will like kill the anti-kill bot with a backstab and one apprentice and then go full face or ignore it and go face. If you play Assassin's Blade, if it's a raid, that is yeah. 7 damage, no it's 8 damage it's because of spell damage. Yeah. Then you can, we'll see what he goes for. It goes with Assassin's it's Blade Deadly Poison. Stay on board. This spell is actually really surprising to me. Because if you played Hero Power, Deadly Poison, Blade Fairy, Eviscerate, you have been able to poke the Ice Block at 1 HP, so... Yeah. Just for, go for a very defensive play. Yeah, he doesn't go yellow face. In case there is like well, Doomsayer, Frost Nova, win. and no like Was sap. Was one damage off if he miscount? Let's check again. If he. He will probably actually poison with two less damage, but mm. you get four more from. So you get only seven damage, but was he one damage off? No, because he would also play the SI agent. So he would have been able to proc the ice block. If you wanted to. So Doomsayer and First Nova goes down from Asmodei in order to sustain the board and also he freezes the face so Doomsayer doesn't die from a uh, weapon and something. We might see a thing as a plate flurry here. Procs the ice block at 8 HP but at least it procs it and it deals with yeah, Doomsayer. Yeah, I think it's a great move. You like, you have the board plus you proc the ice block, so uh, he cannot potentially play like flame strike plus uh, secret next turn. But that is the first preparation, if I'm not mistaken. So he could perhaps sprint to our second prep and then prep Tinker's Life Flurry. Well, you gotta believe sometimes. Yeah, you gotta believe, but it's it's too arcadish, I think. So yeah, he goes for board clear and plus pop in the ice block. To bet that it was like at 8 HP, not less. But still, let's see. Emperor is a really good card when you have Igniters on hand, but not when you are basically dead already. Yeah, not in this situation. So it looks like Kaldi uh, will be able to grab game number one here. Yeah, it's hard to find a play here because you can play Emperor and ice blocks to get your hand reduced and swipe another turn but yeah but where does that get you yeah it doesn't get you anywhere so looks like gg it's actually a really huge win for kaldi because looking at the lineup it seems like kaldi has a really hard time dealing with freeze mage but just getting the win against it with vogue is super good for him and he would be left against uh, uh, Paladin, pa Paladin and Druid. And Druid. Yeah. Which it's quite okay versus Paladin, I think. Well, depends on the draws, of course, but. I mean, it doesn't really matter because um, Asmodai would pick a Druid in the next game, so it would be Vogue and Druid coming up. And I guess that's what we are going to see. Yeah, so the game number one goes to Kaldi, and yeah, here's your two favorite casters from Navi. Right, Xexo? Yeah. Okay, so five. yeah, we're we're going right ahead to game number two, I think, and um, there's still um, Paladin and Druid for Asmodai to pick from, and uh, Kaldi will continue his Rogue domination since uh, the format is last hero standing, so you can win with just one hero, you can 3-0 your opponent in the best case scenario, but yeah. So we see that Kaldi actually has a big game hunter in his work, which has been a rather popular tech choice recently. By the way, for those who aren't familiar, uh, Kaldi was like very sick a few days ago. So yeah, I yeah. think he just got out of hospital today. So yeah, he didn't uh, feel himself really well, but he's here, he's playing. So that's the true passion. So I think, yeah.
that's really great, very respectable. So yeah, it's like you said, Druid versus Rogue, and the starting hand from Kaldi doesn't look that great. I mean, at least he has a way to deal with the Thanos' Esperant. Yeah. Yeah, he will just whip a dagger. And that's it. Yeah, we see Asmodei save his coin because if he would have coined that as a spyroon and he would get killed, then he has to play um, White Growth and his turn 4 would be quite poor. Now that's a gr great draw. You can, like, Thalnos for more cards and then just backstab for 3 and kill their Nessus. I think even if it would play Thalnos, but still just deadly point and attack it and save backstab. Yeah. You don't need to. Oh, like, uh, okay, so this move is understandable because he saves Thalmus for more spell damage. It's, I think it's not about that, I think it's just because he thinks that it's hard for him to cycle his set of knives later on, so he wants to just get out of his hand while he can. Yeah, it's not like uh, you can have Fun of Knives be useful versus Druid cards that much, so quite, quite okay, I think. And he got a spring from top deck, so still no preparation. Also, if you would have played the Thalnos last turn, it would like, be a pretty good turn for the opponent to just coin out a keeper of the growth and silence it. Yeah. But yeah, he, he needs more card draw, so he goes for Thalnos. Doing this, he would be really, really weak to Harrison Jones. But, but nobody plays it now. Well, not nobody, it's like, mm, it's not, it's been like, not that popular. Yeah, but now nowadays. it's last he was standing, so yeah. if you want, you can like, ban one of the non bow You could ban Druid, for example, and just, by banning Druid, the amount of weapon classes is higher that is banned yeah. against you. Yeah, so true, true. There's yeah. Hunters, Warriors, Paladins, Rogues, many, many classes that... Like for example, in this match, we saw Asmodei ban the Druid, so his opponent has Paladin and Rogue left, so... Harrison wouldn't be bad in that situation. Yeah. So let's see what will be the move for Asmodei. He goes for Shade. And Quite here about. He could have played a 5 top instead, like a 2 top claw or a low step. This way, it's. It's like really a safe play. Yeah, but it's a pretty slow play, so it does allow Kali to just play an Azul Drake on a basically empty board. Yeah, and by the way, it's 3-0 uh, for Astkaka on the mainstream, so congratulations to Navi player, well played, world champion. And looking good? Yeah, <laughs> looking good. So... Kaldi really wants to pick up a Faith Fury, because once he picks up Faith Fury, he can play Deadly Poison, maybe a Backstab, Faith Fury, Fan Cleave, have a really big Fan Cleave, and clear the opponent's board. So, Faith Fury would be a pretty good pickup for him. Yeah, but, well, uh, do you play around Keeper or just YOLO? YOLO um, Van Cleave? Big, big one? I mean, you don't even play on Keeper because no matter. How big it is, keeper is always the same, but you might make it a 6 6 to play about a yeah. big game hunter. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true that. So we just swipe the dragon and then just go attack the face and don't pop up the shade so we don't get killed. And so. it's a great draw for Kaldi again. Still, if he perhaps is burned, he only has two mana left, which yeah, no. basically surpasses then. So yeah, no coin this this time around. So we could see a perp, Tinker Soil, and Fan Cleave. Just to get a 6-6 six, six on the board. No, he just decided to go like a normal prep sprint to get more cards. He gains, he gains Assassin's Blade. Well, yeah. So we have double heal board. And so if he would have picked up in the Plate Flurry, it's quite a tough choice if you want to use it here or not. It does deal with your opponent's shade, but it's not efficient, so... Yeah, and since uh, Talnus is not in the hand, so you cannot play like around uh, Thalnos and Blade Flurry next turn. So you can kill the 4 4 shade? Yeah, but he has another deadly poison. Yeah, true that. It's like 
when the rogue has so many cards, there's just I don't know whether you're lucky or not. For uh, Druid, <laughs> in my opinion, I don't know. He doesn't have a page flow yet, so. Yeah, but it's like. Asmodei will be able to play Ancient of Lore, and then once he probably picks up a Force of Nature within the next two hours, there uh, you go. So, low step into a Force of Nature Savage War combo can easily just end the game in two turns. So, Kaldi really needs to deal with the board now. Do you like Drake Eviscerate Ancient of Lore? Um, no, I think I like Sap Eviscerate and Fen Cleave. Yeah. To the tank five damage, I think so. That would be deadly poison attack into him. Inch the floor. floor, eviscerate the shade and play fan cleave. Not sure if a uh, tank in the face is the best option. He is doesn't know where this opponent is. Yeah, low step into combo. So, and so if there's a low step coming down now, he can trade into it with his board. Yeah, and still his Van Cliff will survive. And so you can just take five damage on his face again and play heal bot. Yeah, he has the double heal bot in his hand, so it's not about like health for Rogue. And we see no uh, keeper drawn yet, so that is quite nice news. He has double wrath, he can. I guess he could rest wrath and play a five top, or with Azur Drag. He plays the Azur Drag, then cycles his. Breath for two damage and then, yeah, and then he goes for, yeah. for four damage. Yeah. So that's, that's quite a decent answer. Yeah, it's a good move. <laughs> like the best one he can deal with Van Cleef at the moment. Oh, that is a second Savage War, so. Yes. Turn 9, low step. Turn 10, Force of Nature, Innovate, Savage War, Savage Whoa, War. Whoa, and he got another. Yeah, it's just rate. one more damage. Um, but it's a. Uh, that means that from hand he has 23 damage plus probably low tap. That would be 32 damage. Alright, and he gets his play flurry. Do you like develop the board around um, like playing the Drake and then sapping the Drake of um, Asmodei? The issue is from his perspective, like knowing Asmodei's hand. It doesn't seem like there's a way for him to win this game for Kaldi. So yeah. even knowing the end, it's hard to find the right play. And for him, not knowing the end is... I don't know what his best shot is here. Maybe he goes Drake and Blade Fleur? Maybe, but then so next turn, he doesn't really have an answer to any minion. True, yeah. But still, he, get, uh, he gets like uh, 9 mana, so he can play Assassin's Blade pl plus Oil. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, but regardless, I don't think we see a heal bot here because playing on turn 9, combo double innovate, double savage war doesn't seem reasonable. So yeah. he won't play a heal bot and will just die yeah. to the combo. Yeah, he makes it a 1 1. Just saps. Kaldi now left on Paladin and Mage. Yeah, that's game number. Don't see Mage coming down against. Druid, so I expect him to pick his Paladin now. That's Paladin against Druid, Druid coming up then. Uh, do you know uh, what kind of Druid Kaldi uh, runs? No, it's his first series of tournament, but yeah, I expect some kind of combo Druid, just because it's by far the most popular one. Dru druid? You mean Pala? No, I mean mid-range Druid. You mean the Paladin, or? You ask for the druid. Yeah, yeah, paladin, paladin, about oh. uh, Kaldi's paladin, yeah. Right, the paladin. So it's uh, uh. tied 1-1 uh, and we can go to game number 3 right away. And we'll see which class Kaldi chooses. So Sour was yeah, his teammate paladin. was playing a very aggressive paladin deck. I expect Kaldi to play the same aggressive secret paladin, but we will see about that. Yeah, we can see already that there's a get down secret in his hand. Whether he likes to trade it or not, of course he trades in. Yeah. I so know. So see both players with a pretty good hand. Yeah, this this hand is great for Kaldi, in my opinion. Yeah, Secret Keeper isn't good yet because he doesn't have any secrets to play with it, but 
if he plays the more aggressive Secret Paladin. Yeah, you can coin plays. out uh, the Hearted Creeper, then play like Shield Mini Bot. Uh, I think it's also low. I think you play. You have to coin out either the Knife Juggler or the Mini Bot. I think Hearted Creeper just doesn't do enough. Yeah, I would like uh, coin out the Shielded Mini Bot. So if uh, the opponent has Wrath, it just doesn't die immediately. Yeah, and so now you can just coin Mini Bot into a Knife Juggler into Master for Battle, which yeah. is. Really great. But on the other hand, against you, a lot of the time it's correct to coin out Knife Juggler because by playing Mini Bot, you give them more time to play um, Wild Crows. But if you play Knife Juggler, it's a lot worse for them to just ramp. Yeah, they need to react like as soon as possible for Juggler. And if you like play Mini Bot, there's some opportunities for Druid to develop. So, yeah, Kaldi goes for Knife Juggler. Even though Osmond has an innovate, he doesn't have a play. He don't doesn't want to innovate. Oh, uh, that's a pretty good card to pick up here. Yeah, and the reminder that there's a swipe in the hand of Asmodai, so when this master for battle goes down, it will be quite hard for Kaldi. I mean, swipe isn't a good answer to master for battle because it trades one for one, but swipe is four mana, but master is three, and you still keep the weapon. So yeah. It's not too bad, but just the keeper is so annoying to deal with here. Yeah, and now he can just deal with the shielded mini bot hero. Oh, Darnassus Esperant. Yeah, but Darnassus Esperant and Hero Power both are not great because if he plays Hero Power, he just play Master, attack into the 2 2 and kill him next turn. If he played Darnassus Aspirant, Kaldi would just trade his Divine Shield into it and then heal it with his Lights Justice as well, so. Yeah, let's see what Osmodai will will go for. W will he go for um, mm, control the board? Because well, after um, uh, versus such paladins, it's really important to control the board because there's like um, blessings of kings and stuff like that. Yeah, it's kind of hard because you can't really race them because if you try to do that, you usually just die. But if he plays too slow, then he gives his opponent time to play cards like Tyrion. Dr. Boom, and before that, Mysterious Challenger. MC himself. Yeah. We can see that Kaldi got his second knife juggler in his hand, so... Potentially he can play like a juggler, a secret keeper, secret, if he got secret next I turn. Think, yeah, but he doesn't have secret yet, so he has to pick one up. But yeah, but I think as you said, you, you need to believe sometimes. Yeah, always. <laughs> I think we'll see... Trust Inspirant. He could swipe you, but it's not efficient on the swipe, so... Yeah, so he goes for just Esperant and clear, Clearing a bit. He trades with his Keeper just as opponent can't deal with Trust Inspirant, and... Because as Trust Inspirant stays on board, it allows him to play... Always Emperor believe. ...next turn. This game might come down to a 50-50 knife juggle. Yeah. If the juggle hits the Inspirant, you can kill it and... The dual player has a really bad turn. Yeah, yeah by the way, up. so far Kaldi was like um, not super lucky, but his hand is really good that he got his uh, first secret on turn four. Yeah, but he had a secret keeper, so he wouldn't mind having a secret Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so let's see if Juggle connects to the Esperant. Never lucky. That's really unfortunate since now we will see Emperor come down. Or swipe plus hero power, both just possible because of that extra mana. I think we would see a swipe on the secret keeper if it's a venge. It makes a knife juggler is six three, so it still just dies to the wrath. And if it doesn't work the knife juggler, uh, a venge, then you just rest for one on the knife juggler and kill it anyway and draw a card. But probably is stronger than Emperor, but on the other hand, Emperor is always good, especially yeah, it's, hand like that. It's like Doctor Six, it's it's a great card. Well, not as good as, I don't know, Mysterious Challenger, but nevertheless, <laughs> yeah. Also, he will play it before he attacks, because if he attacks, it is um, Noble Sacrifice, Life Juggler would hit, and a Life Juggler... What if that's Repentance? I mean, you still get the effect. Yeah. But no, that's not it. And let's see if he will check. Yeah, he checks for juggler. And 
now he can deal the Emperor on with the board. Yeah, but he don't want to trade that in. Yeah. And he got a true silver. Yeah, but true silver and to steal it in, so at least he can keep a secret keeper. Yeah, not God, the, super the worst behind top deck. Yeah. He needs some miracle weapon, like a turn 6 mysterious challenger. To come back from this. And Asma Dai got his wild growth, not the best card to get. Yeah, but he has Dr. Boom, so yeah. he can't complain about the sand. When you have a 6 mana Dr. Boom on your turn 5, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, Dr. Boom. Will it go down? Or Asmodai, like, actually considering. No, okay. You saw that secret paladin. You know they don't have great answers to so Dr. Boom. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> so, the opponent could trade his board in, but. Man, that seems bad. He doesn't even have a good play for this turn. Would you, like, go Haunted Creeper, then. Attack boom and well consecrate because there's not a lot of things that you can consecrate versus druid. The consecrate doesn't make any difference. Yeah. It only kills the boom bots. So he can again clear the board. So he consecrates just for the boom bots. Yeah. Let's see how much damage it will get to. And one. Th that was quite good for Kaldi. Yeah, but at this point, he plays a beatdown deck. He doesn't like care too much about taking a couple of damage to his hero. Yeah, and Asmodai, in the meantime, will just get two more cards. Yes. If there's a force of nature, we'll probably see the game just end. So yeah. Kaldi has to find an answer before there's a force of nature. Blessing of Kings, great card, but not oh, this turn. So he can play Wrath or something. Other. He can, for example, he can play Wrath on Dr. Boom, trade his Ancient of Lore in, play his Shade, and yeah. just combo next turn with the land. He might want to consider how he wants to play around the potential Tyrion. So he just wants to put e up even more pressure. So even if there's Tyrion, you can maybe just kill him regardless. Yeah, he swipes the Boom and then goes for the Wrath. Almost a full bo board clear, but whoa, he wasn't that lucky. Yeah, those moments are quite good, but yeah, unless we see a taunt, it won't make a difference. And that is not a taunt. So, Asmodai is taking another win with his Druid and yeah. having to play against Mage, which probably is a face Mage. So, a really good matchup for Asmodai coming up. Yeah, and Asmodai will get game number three, so the score will be 2-1 in Asmodai's favor. Yeah, and he continues on with his Druid. And yeah, as you said, the, the last deck for Kaldi is Mage. If he wants to get the series done, he must win two games with the Mage in a row. He can do that, can he? He is playing against... Druid, and if he wins against Druid, it is Paladin. So, if it's Freeze Mage, he has now a quite bad matchup, but if he wins that, he has a really good matchup on the next game. So, Let's if it see. is Freeze Mage, it will basically all come down to this one game. And we see a Freeze Mage. Yeah, so it's a Freeze Mage. I don't see him losing to Paladin if he wins this game, so I think that the series, this game decides the series. It's quite good for Asmodai. With a white growth and a keeper, but we have to see Matt signed this for Kaldi now, so. Yeah, also he got loot hoarder for cycle for more cards. Yeah, but you play so two you want to play the scientist, so it's kinda of awkward to play loot hoarder. You'd rather have yeah. a three mana four sure. card like Necolite or an Arcane Intellect. Yeah, and also he got Antonidas on turn one. It's actually not too bad because once it's for Emperor, it's just so good to already have Antonidas on your hand to get it reduced. Yeah, since you got Iceland, so you can get Fireball for zero mana. After Terror Sun, of course. If he gets on the board. Yes, but I will just Wild Growth. So, we will see Nutrider most likely. Oh, Whoa. never mind. That is better. That's a great draw. 
from Kaldi. So he can go he for might, more well, cards. Consider Luthor just so he can use it to kill a um, Shredder next turn. To place Luthor in it, he will power, but he just needs to play mana efficient at this point. And, and he got his Acolyte, so. Not the, not the worst draws from Kaldi. It's like it would be worse if he got like Acolyte and Loot Herders like last cards in the deck. I mean, as long as you don't draw them too late, if you just never draw them, it's not too bad if you have some kind of card draw before. But drawing them in the late mid game is really bad. And I wonder if uh, potentially Asmodei will save his Ancient of Lords for healing? Yeah, it's something we see a lot, but his hand right now, he has Innovate, he has Coin, but was he just playing the Tool of the Claw? That would die to Fireball, so. I think we'll just see a keeper. I understand he was a safe keeper for um, Doomsayer, Doomsayer yeah. but I don't know about playing Lord. Oh. Just open himself up to just some kids better soon. Like what he needs is after Alex Treasure. Okay. He can play Acolyte. Red Silenos and Double Iceland to kill Ancient oh, Floor. Yeah. We have done that, but yeah, 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 yeah. He shoes is not true. So he got his secret pop popped up and it's yeah, ice block. That means that he has one ice baby baby and one ice block left in the stack. But the good part about it is that it cycles through the stack. He has two desperate card was on the board and necklace for Acolyte Hero Power next turn. So he has quite a good chance to draw into his uh, Emperor for turn 6, just by the amount of card draw he has. So yeah, Asmodei will cycle for more cards, so each player will get a card this turn. Let's see what Kaldi will get. It's Blizzard. I just expect Acolyte Hero Power. Yeah, yeah, Next yeah. turn you have Blizzard. Yeah, he needs but to cycle for that Torsen yeah. as soon as possible. That's a really good card because after you play Emperor, you can play Archmage, Icelands, Icelands, Ice Barrier in one turn on seven. Yeah, that, that would be very, very devastating. No, no, what? He still has some cards with Acolyte and Cyanos and the start of his turn. So he can still try to next turn. But we see Asmod actually drawing Emperor on turn six. That's what. Kind of you wanted to do. But if he just plays it and go face, then Blizzard would clear the board if he wants to do that. Blizzard deals 3 damage with a spell damage on board of Thylnos, and then Thylnos and Acolyte can trade into the 5 2 Emperor War. I wonder if Asmode will get to that into the, the account that. If Talnus survives, the Blizzard will get 3 damage, so the Shade will die. Maybe he will trade Shade into Thylnos um, and just go only go face with Ancient of Lore, and it seems like he's going for yeah, that. Yeah, looks like. So we might see Fireball on the Emperor and just trade into Shade. I expect Acolyte to trade into the Shade of Next Wemos here. Yeah, and ping, ping it and then Fireball the Torsen. Yeah, first you see what Acolyte draws you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, most likely, that's going to be a follow up. Perhaps. Because if he he draws Torsen himself, what what would you do in this case scenario? You still have to deal with the board first. You yeah. can play it now. True, because, well. Druid can easily pop up your secrets and it's finish like the game. Maybe you draw a cone of coal, which would be quite good here. Interesting. So you just want to see what you draw first if you go for the play anyway. Yeah, you can like uh, cone of cold and then uh, ice lands the Thorson. Yeah. yeah. Then you have. Oh, so he does go for Pingas on Acolyte to go for more okay, cards. Okay, so even more cards. And just freezes and. It's kind of set up for Flames, so I try next turn, but. 
He doesn't have the flame strike. We'll see what he will get from the Acolyte. Mad scientist, after all the secrets are drawn in the hand. Yeah, that's a pretty bad draw to get here. Like, two ice barriers and plus one ice block and a mad scientist, that's quite unlucky. So, Asmodei wanting to play around flame strike, so he just places four six of the glider shredder. Yeah, so he can get two minions even after flame strike. Yeah, but we see there is no flame strike. Yeah, so yeah, but right he now. doesn't know that. Yeah. My charge of the Clobat. In turn seven, you expect the flame strike, so I don't expect the charge here. Even though, if he charges, actually no, because what? no, it doesn't really make a difference because if your opponent plays flame strike, you get four damage next turn instead. If you don't charge now, but you just go for it. Yeah, he just go for the face to pop up, and there's a It's a late, but can you play it here? No, you can't. You're just dead if you play it. Yeah. So it has to be a blizzard turn. He could ice lands through the claw afterwards. Actually, we have ice lands the share of next round, if you wanted to play it. Man, it's a pretty good cartridge war here. Yeah, Lothip. And another shade. So Unless we see a top deck ice frost nova, I don't see what you can do about this. That's not a frost ice barrier. I mean frost nova. So I guess we will see Emperor War, but That's a really bad move because well nothing to follow up that, so he can Yeah. He was hoping for that Doomsayer, but not this time. So, and yeah, after this move, Galdi got his hand um, cost decreased for 9 mana. Quite good, but not very help helpful at this state. He needs to somehow stay alive and yeah. kill the board. Yeah. And still, uh, Asmodai doesn't know that he, he doesn't have Flame Strike in his hand. So, yeah, he just gonna pop up the secret and then trade the Torison. Very good move. I can't think of any troll that really helps Kaldi here, but let's see. Right. Okay, Luxtraza. He cannot play that card right now. He would still just die. It's like these two cards, Torson and then Alexstrasza, uh, the next turn, it's like a little bit too late. Yeah. Maybe if we had like turn 6 Emperor and then get us an extra reduced, we can play it the turn after. So everything would be one turn earlier. Yeah. Maybe then he could just burst the opponent down. But yeah. Even without Talnos and the spell power, it would be really great since he got his Antonidas from turn one. Yeah, like his opponent right now would be at 16 HP with the one armor, so 17 after hero, po then the hero power, which Fireboy, Fireboy, Frostboy, I mean Iceless, Iceless, Hero power would exactly be 17 damage, so if you had a chance to save Iceless and play both Alex Trezor and Emperor wanted earlier, he had a good chance, but... Yeah, but he still um, hopes for Flame Strike to come. But, uh, well, there's a swipe in the hand, so you don't need to even activate the, uh, the Frozen Berry. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. But you can... Oh no, you don't. He doesn't have the mana for anti kill bot. So he needs a Freeze and Heal bot. And yeah. Um, Asmodai was considering right now uh, by killing the um, Mad Scientist, but he doesn't know that all the secrets are in hand of Kaldi. He will be yeah. surprised, I think, a he bit. Just silence it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and kills it. Yeah. Now so that's a kind of cold. Could have been good earlier, but right yeah. now it does seem too late. It's like all these cards is are a bit too late in this matchup. So, Asmodei knows both Firebolts are guns, he knows Two uh, ice, ice blocks, barrier. yeah, yeah So, he will just swipe and JJ. take it Even though you could have just Savage Ward And could still poke the ice barrier and kill him regardless So yeah, Medivh will 
will be dead and it gets Asmodai a win with 3-1 and yeah that that's the the first game of second day of Sister Cup number four and now we will go to a little break and then we will continue with the group stages so see you soon guys